How's it going, everybody? My name is Willogenic, and welcome to more Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, we're in the in the battle, in a Pokemon battle between Yuri and Natsuki? Uh, I don't like the music. <laughs> what happens? Well, be careful where you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad, you already did. Oh! That's... Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the... Oh, shit. What the fuck is wrong with your head? <laughs> Yeah, you go on. This is messed up. Let Wop hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Uh... Suddenly, Yuri turns towards me as if she just noticed I was standing here. Wop, she she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Oh, whoa, whoa! Who do I gotta pick? <laughs> Fucking choices. The choices. The lucky flannel is not working. Uh, Natsuki. I picked Natsuki. I picked Natsuki. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, oh, whoa! What, what is happening? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> um, hey, Wop. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. I got some chocolate milk. Do you want? Do you like chocolate milk? Here, have some. No? Okay, cool. Oh, oh, what the hell just happened? It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Who laughs at a time like this? What kind of fucking friend are you? Some president I am. <laughs> I just said... <laughs> I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes, but I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Why are all these girls thirsting over this dude who just likes anime? He totally likes his anime. He's just here for the tits anyway. Doesn't matter. That's all he's here for. <laughs> Suddenly, Nusky runs out of the classroom. Oh. What happened? What happened? What happened? She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. No. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe you, I guess. I mean, I, you're kind of fucking giving me that side eye. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki, or did. Wop, well, please don't hate me. Please? I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica? I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just, I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with... I don't want to discuss shit with you. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. You need to just go away. Go home, get some sleep, have some tea, sit in the bathtub, and think about what you've done. I have no idea what you're on about, but this is giving me some really bad vibes. It would be just embarrassing with you listening. Uh, I guess I don't really have a choice. Do I? Don't leave me alone with her. <laughs> she just she gave me the worst stink eye ever. <laughs> I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really appreciate. Oh, oh candy, boop, contamination, adventure, massacre. Uh, peaceful. Yeah, warm and... F whoa. I'll pick that word. Oh, that's not the right word to pick. Uh, daydream? Cheer? Uh, sweet? Uh, definitely uncontrollable and disoriented. That Woo! Giggle? Sunny? Fun? Fluffy. Uh, socks. Socks are always fluffy and fun. And laugh. Oh god, what's gonna happen? It's gonna happen! Don't you try anything on me, Melody! Don't, don't, don't you try anything! Oh. Oh, thank
thank God. Another day passed, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Oh, <laughs> your, your right boob is de detached from your left boob. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. Ah, hi, Yuri, or what I think is Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or it's Yuri's expression, but the way to yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. How did you just reappear? Are you a fucking magician? <laughs> Yuri glanced over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading the manga at a desk, and surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. Don't! About yesterday. I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before, and something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Yeah, you're acting a little bonkers, you know what I'm saying? Do you take your medicine today? Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri. I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Ah, WAP. Don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person, and I'm really glad that you joined this club, and I really wish you had a different color hair, because girls with purple hair are evil. They're evil. Don't trust them. I'm sorry if any of you have purple hair. I, I mean video game group people. <laughs> Everything is a little bit brighter with you around, and... uh, Sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah! No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man, Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri's clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki's addressing her. No, I haven't. Gee, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said, and I'll do my best to stay under control from now on, so... Gary, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Eh. Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. Excuse me? I don't do you remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But... Whoa! <laughs> her mouth! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> My bulls, sailor cloth, blind sight, lifeline, anon. Oh god, what is happening? I'll accept your apology anyway if it helped you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Nusky turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey. Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry! Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah, psh. We knew you were out playing hooky, girl. It's okay. We knew you were, you know, having sexual relations and all. It's okay. It's okay that you look like a cyborg. It's okay that y'all are staring at me and it's making me very uncomfortable. It's okay. Well, Natsuki was. I was not. Haha! <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Ah! Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication, so I'm still impressed. Ah, oh, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Ah, <laughs> that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Wop. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry, I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. Why me? Am I being sacrificed or something? <laughs> There's gonna be a cult at the end of this. That I'm not gonna like. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not... Not really. I'm fucking Natsuki over here. She's freaking out. Her mouth was moving really weirdly. 
looked absolutely terrifying if you want to go and see what she's on. Uh, she's probably on the drugs. I chose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. Wop. Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I don't want to. I'm going to be completely flat out honest with you. I don't want to. Don't make me do it. I mean, in the club. I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave that book to me. Well, I guess I need to make sure Nusky isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine! She's reading over there, see? Don't think about her so much. Oh, okay. She's used to being ignored. Come on, we're going over there. Some... What's the story about, anyway? Well, hmm. I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. Who is Markov again? Was Markov someone important? There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. Why are you so happy saying that? What is wrong with you people? But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affix affixing them to- Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler, but anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. Not the human centipede type shit. I ain't into that. It's kinda- It's kinda dark, isn't it? Yeah, you're, you're kinda- You're kinda messed up in the head. You should go see a therapist or something. I don't like why you're constantly blushing and just like, making me feel really uncomfortable. Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Ah, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Wop? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. That is one kinky bitch. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story is the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Then suddenly... I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? <laughs> not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writings fill my thoughts, my whole body gets a... <laughs> let me read it! <laughs> my god! I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Ah, uh, that's... well, that's true. In fact... I might as well get started reading it, right? Oh! Yes, you're glitching out there. Yuri, is your, uh, is your motherboard okay? Are you okay? Is the CPU and you have in your brain, is that okay? I mean, you don't have to, but uh, what are you saying? Let me just get the book. I quickly read the book that I... No! Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah! Yeah, are you sure? You seem a little uh, apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. I was just, I was just bathing in the fe- Oh god, Yuri, you really apologize a lot. Don't I thought the music just went weird. You really apologize a lot, don't you? I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean- Ah, uh, <laughs> here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Ah, uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. Uh, I do the same with my right arm, on the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides it under, my, under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this... 
we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh. To turn the page? Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and her eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. Probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for calling me dumb without calling me dumb. You're dumb! <laughs> I know where you live! We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. You take taking something as simple as flipping and reading a book sexual? What the fuck is wrong with you? This is why we can't have nice things. I'm just saying, this is why we can't have nice things. Uh, hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh, uh, no, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Ah, that's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why this, that came into my head. <laughs> it's, oh God. You're a demon, ain't you? I, uh, you know what, Yuri, I'm, I'm starting to favor Nazi out of the three. I don't know if that's like a good thing or a bad thing, because I was liking Sayori. And then she went and, you know, decided to hang around. I'm sorry, bad joke. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't throw eggs at me! Yuri, are you feeling alright? Eh. Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Wop, did something happen just now? Eh, I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no. Not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. What the fuck would I have done? I didn't even do nothing! What's your problem, Monica, you bitch? Put blame on me, I'll fight you! Oh, after class. These hands were made for fighting! I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, nothing. <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Eh, shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. <clears throat> I'll read Natsuki's first. Hmm. Well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. <laughs> I'm jealous. Are you jealous? Are you jealous because she's got big honk and big, uh... Bigger hair than you do. <laughs> not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Oh, are you upset? Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. Ah! Uh, that's not a poem. Is that a website? <laughs> no. Can I, can I copy and paste it? I don't like that music. Wah. Wow. Why didn't you come read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick fr- Oh! Ho, ho, ho! And on that note, I'm gonna have to end it here, everybody. I feel like the cliffhangers are really good. So, <laughs> demon! Oh, thank everybody so much for watching. As always, I appreciate it, and I appreciate every single one of you. I'll see you all in the next episode.
Bye, guys.